This is a quick uh, overview of our uh, new time series as of summer 2014. Uh, so you go to hedonometer.org, you'll be presented with the last 18 months of the global Twitter happiness trend. Uh, you'll see uh, that you can move around using this little slider down here. So the whole time series is, is shown in gray, and then we have the more uh, detailed view. You can expand this window or shrink it. Right. So as you zoom in or zoom out, and you can jump to particular years using this little facility up here. You can go to the full uh, time series if you like. So you can see, yeah, things were going down for a long time and they're starting to pick up. Overall, you'll see that positive days that are positive spikes are ones that are annual events. People say, you know, there are formulaic things that people say. Uh, there are some negative words on these days as well, and our, our, our measure will pick those things up. And negative events are unpredicted, uh, terrible things that, that happen. Uh, there are deaths of, of famous people. Um, there's the bombing at the Boston Marathon here. So there are terrorist attacks uh, and natural disasters seem to make up many of these things, including, say, uh, flu pandemics. All right, so <coughs> you can zoom in. And any of the views you create uh, throughout all of the uh, features we have on hedonometer.org can be shared. So if you copy this, URL, and you can send that in an email. You can tweet various aspects of, of what you see. So if you construct a, a view that you're interested in sharing, that's easy to do. Uh, in another video, we'll explain in detail how the word shifts work. And so these are a subtle feature that we have, which really help explain why uh, the cycle goes up and down. So the first thing is that if you roll, o roll over any of the, the points here, you'll see a little um, list of words pop up. And these are telling you which words are being used more frequently or less frequently on that day that's contributing to the um <coughs> drop or, or increase in shift in, in happiness. And this is relative to the last seven days. We can compare any text if you like, but this is uh, the way we've set up the time series. So it's why this day is happier or sadder than the last seven days. As I said, we'll explain these word shifts in another video. But if you click on it, you this, this pops up. So you get a much richer structure. Uh, and last thing perhaps is, is uh, you can turn off the days of the week. So they're all they're color coded so we can see what Saturdays are like. And if we jump out to the full version and then turn them off and put on, um, let's turn them all off, put it on Saturday. You can see the Saturdays, you know, it's, it's clear from this that Saturdays are generally happier days and Tuesdays are down near the bottom. So that's something to play around with as well. Uh, and that, so that's basically how to look at this. We'll, of course, this is updated daily, and we will indicate uh, by hand uh, the important dates or, or dates that seem to have become important as far as the hedonometer uh, measurement goes. And as I said, we'll discuss the word shifts, which really help you sort these things out uh, in a separate video.